And that's a smasher. So we're going to back off a little bit. Let him walk in. I don't want him to charge. So I'm just going to wait a little patiently. He shouldn't be frozen by the first floor freeze. Um, and then I can just shoot in from the side. That did so much damage. <laughs> Whoa. Another smasher too? Let's see how much damage this can do. Oh no, I'm missing. Ah, he ran right through. That's okay. We can put a ceiling up on top. Right, there we go. And oh my God, he died so fast. So as you're watching this, I had to delay my birthday llama opening video just because I wanted to cover the Desa Blaster before it left hit the road. I know I just unlocked it. I can't show you the quest. I know I should have done this sooner, but I was not even in the state when this came out. Archer was the one who announced it on my channel. Thank you very much for him covering the daily videos while I was gone. And here we go. So the Desa Blaster is a weapon that can pierce five enemies, bounces around a bunch. I'm sure I can tease a little bit of gameplay from what you're about to see. It's apparently pretty strong. I have been unimpressed in the past, but if you can bounce it off the walls or the ceilings, you can get some really good damage out of it. And I'm kind of interested to see how well we can go or how well we can do with this. So the perks we've got crit build because it hits a bunch of different times. It kind of makes up for it. Then we got reload on it because it will be emptying 30 energy cells per shot which is too many too many we'll be in a fire zone so water element is perfectly fine we could add an extra crit damage perk here i'm not really worried about the dancing enemies in my opinion because a lot of the enemies that are going to need that extra damage are not going to be dancing we're talking about miss monsters and for the six perks they're all related to dancing and oh and take fire affliction damage for a short time that's interesting. I was not aware of that. So limiting enemy causes nearby enemies to dance does not affect enemies that does not affect miss monsters or bosses. That's huge. Hitting an enemy with his weapon has a small chance just hitting them to cause it and nearby enemies to dance and take fire affliction. That's just extra damage right there. I'll call reperk that. Hey, maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be good. But reload, creating double crit damage is monstrous. Then, of course, we've got the right load out here. Demolitionist Penny is going to be so good. 50% of extra damage is great. I am being a little bit uh, budget with 8-bit demo, hoping 20% of my shots just, you know, won't consume ammo. I'll take it. You know, if that's six energy cells on average per shot, that's... All I'm going to get uh, battle beat maximum overload because battle beats awesome. Maximum overload is the highest base stat. I think that supports this team perk. I don't want to worry about sub wafers. Sorry. I am running coconuts because they're awesome. Damage and health is amazing. I will never back down and locked and reloaded is fantastic because uh, assuming a pit demo doesn't activate, you know, 80% of the time, which is what he's supposed to do. Um, the other 80% of the time we can reload and uh, do 15% extra damage, which is a pretty solid build. Boom base will, of course, be upping our crit rating and damage. So critting more often will be huge with two crit damage perks. <gasps> and I am ready to try this out. So, yeah, let's just hop in game and see how it does. So, got our Desa Blaster. This is what's going to happen. It's going to bounce around. You know, it does all the fun stuff. So let's just see if we can get a wall and a wall and just show you what we're talking about. That's what I'm going on about. Just bouncing back and forth, doing tons of damage while it's at it. That is what I like to see. I wonder what that small chance is. Can I just bank? Oh, I don't think it has the range to be banked. So this is definitely the wrong way to be using it, obviously. Can it pierce just like this? Oh, it can. So we need to find an area. Oh, I wonder, I wonder if we can just shoot straight into it. I'm just out of my own curiosity. Let's see what we can get. You know, that's what I've always seen when it didn't oppress me. It's like, if it doesn't crit, oh, what's that 900,000 damage? Well, when it does crit, it does a good amount. But the walls bouncing back and forth is what we're going to have to set up in the defense later on. And that's when we're going to get some real damage out of this thing. If I can find a smasher, I can definitely illustrate that. Apparently, I have some kind of quest going on. You know, you know, I'm not one to stop doing my quest lunch for a little bit of a YouTube video. You know, I got to gotta keep up with that. But I need a good target to shoot at. Oh, beautiful. We have a smasher. So let's see if we can make some kind of killing chamber. Um, yeah, he's going to rush through it, but that's fine. While he's getting angry, we can hopefully get a base down just so that we can be getting a few more crits. Clean these guys up easy. <laughs> I wonder what we can do. Let's do this as well. So just aim straight down, going up and <laughs> that's from one shot. That's actually a seriously good amount of damage. I'm kind of impressed with that, not gonna lie. That's probably the more convenient way to do it. If you're ever gonna kill an enemy like this, you gotta walk right up to it, place the ceiling, and the mobility update is so good. It's still new to me. It's only, it's been like a couple of weeks, but yeah, you just aim at the ground and they die instantly. It's beautiful. 
Maybe if I can aim it slightly at an angle. I was hoping I could bank down like that. <laughs> this is actually kind of satisfying to use, but you kind of have to, um, you kind of have to, uh, remember that each one of these shots is costing me 30 energy cells. Oh my goodness, this is so expensive. I would hope it's strong if it's gonna cost what it's costing to operate. My goodness. All right, here we go. Gonna activate the encampment. Maybe uh, put a couple of floor tiles or ceiling tiles rather. Eat the coconut. See if we can get a base down too. And then just see uh, what we can get away with here. So it pierces five enemies. It doesn't seem like it bounces too often, but obvious high damage. Great crowd clearing as well. And then we can just shoot in a straight line like that. To, oh man, not even KO. Oh, that's disappointing. Is it not critting? Am I just getting terribly? Oh, come on. Actually, I'm kind of curious what the crit chance is. 45%? Am I getting unlucky? Goodness, that was, uh, that was an expensive round of mistakes. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty well off in this game, but 30 energy cells is expensive. <laughs> but the damage is there, so yeah. I think the regular enemies are maybe not what I should be concerned about, and finding smashers is what I'm going to be doing. So I think in most missions, ooh, just like most missions, I'm going to be looking for maybe uh, steel electric field, stuff like that, to get my battle beat active, and then I'll be trying to find... Um, smashers and other big targets to deal with. Um, this is like an easy bailout. Oh no, stuck in a horde of enemies? Just aim at the ground and shoot. What's a nurse gonna do again? Oh, okay, not much apparently. See, that is so satisfying. It's a weird, weird rocket to run. I mean, the damage is good, especially when you bounce it like that, but there are other rockets in the game that do the same thing for less setup, but Honestly, I wanted to showcase this weapon. You know, is it good? That was kind of the premise of today's video. And uh, yeah, I wanted to get this video out before it goes away, just so that you have a chance to run hit the road at any difficulty to unlock it. That's what we did. A bunch of high level players, we just ran a level 88 zone and basically AFK'd it. I mean, we were all there, but it didn't require a lot of setup from us. So you can always queue the lowest power level hit the road mission available to you, and it will function for unlocking this weapon, but or any weapon that is featured or hero or whatever. So yeah, I think I'm just about out of big targets. I only saw one smasher, unfortunately. I think we can just start the defense though and uh, see what we get from there. I'm just gonna take this opportunity to show the bug that we're dealing with and deliver the bomb because currently you can't put the bomb on certain types of ramps, or I'm sorry, the tracks on certain types of ramps and connecting it has been quite a challenge recently. So Matteo is doing some illegal tracking just to get this to work and um yeah oh they're voting it so they're, they're just gonna be moving the bomb i figured i would take care of these zombies over here real quick just get myself a nice little roof maybe even use wood because it's out of the way and then just aim at the floor <laughs> i'd like for it to bounce a little bit more often um yeah like when it leaves it at half health like or just even a little bit of health a whole extra shot is required to kill it 30 energy cells. <laughs> it makes me just so wary of every single shot. Even the deatomizer at its like, what does a deatomizer cost actually? Uh, okay, 35, 35. I didn't realize how much expense I was getting out of that weapon, but um, it, it is a little bit more consistent in clearing out a huge crowd. It explodes and it explodes again, but you know, Death Blaster is, it's a, it's a different approach. Oh man, I don't, let's see if I can do this. Wait for them to drop through. Are they going to break through? Ah, they're getting handled. I think we're going to be fine. It's going to be super easy. Fairly inconvenient. Oh, so much damage. When that critted for like 900,000 earlier, that made me excited. I want to see more of that later on. So I think I'm going to cut it here. We'll just defend the bomb real quick. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys once the defense begins. Okay, so let's see. Well, I'm going to keep the cannonade as my favorite pickaxe. Let's see what we can do here to maximize the usefulness of the Desa Blaster because it's only a four minute defense, but I want to make sure that we're going to have plenty of opportunity to bounce a lot. And this is where, oh my goodness, I think some funneling is going to be important. I think this would be enough to just trail them towards this spot over here. Um, this over here might be uh, a source of attention by the zombies, but I think we should be fine. This is really where I want to bring them through. So a couple of floor freeze is always nice to have. And then we can just construct something similar like this. And I think this should be enough. I'm going to put a few gas traps in here and just to 
trim the, the 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 horde a little bit. I think a couple of traps would be sufficient. We did this in a previous mission as well, and it was more than enough. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be kind of where I'm hanging out. I'm not sure what my teammates are gonna do exactly, but um, this would be a good little spot just to bank them. And I think even yeah, this is fine. We should be able to go all the way around in here, and this is where I'll be. Uh, Leading enemies in and then killing them with the Dissa Blaster. I'm going to just tell them that they can trap the uh, southwest side here and we should be good to start. All right, so we got the south side with electric fields. I got my corner over there. There are way too many traps on the actual defense, but I'm going to try and start it here. I'm going to get rid of the cannonade and fail to trap that. There we go. Close that up. And that's kind of what I feared is that we get more to the enemies on the south side. But over here, we should have enough enemies to play with. So got the boom base active right here. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Just watching them walk in and die immediately. <laughs> can I uh, bank it down and hit the, uh, the riot house key? Oh, this is so good. This is so good. I'm just waiting for them to walk into their death. My traps might have been a little too effective, but you know. Better safe than sorry. Oh, that's so good. Doing millions of damage per hit. And then the boom base is helping me crit 45% of the time. That's a smasher. So we're going to back off a little bit. Let him walk in. I don't want him to charge. So I'm just going to wait a little patiently. He shouldn't be frozen by the first floor freeze. Um, and then I can just shoot in from the side. That did so much damage. <laughs> Whoa. Another smasher too? Let's see how much damage this can do. Oh no, I'm missing. Ah, he ran right through. That's okay. We can put a ceiling up on top. Right, there we go. And oh my god, he died so fast. Yes, that's the power of the Dessa Blaster right there. It might be expensive to operate. It might not look like much out in the field, but in a good controlled scenario like this, which is actually pretty common, you do want to trap and set up your defenses properly. It can be so strong. What about a mini boss? Uh, okay, perfect. Water, we can do it right here. Uh, I kind of want to see the health of the mini boss. That is less than I'd have hoped for. I'm not going to be critting as often without the um, boom base, but pretty good damage. You know, not the worst I've ever seen. I am recording still. I'm going to need some help on this, Archer. I can't solo this. I feel I, I'm, I'm maybe using, I can. I'm using my Desa Blaster too. So, dual Desa Blaster. This was two Desa Blasters versus this thing? I'm unimpressed with the mini boss damage, but I annihilated a couple of smashers, so I'll give it. I'll give it a pass. I'll give it a pass. The mini boss in each corner, and did it just Yeah, we got him. We got him. Okay. All right, back to my corner here. This is a trap tunnel that, admittedly, can handle its own, but it's a great showcase for the Desert Blaster, and I got way too many coconuts. I just like searching bushes at this point. I remember back in the day. I used to run gas traps way more often. They were significantly stronger than they are now today. Uh, they actually have been nerfed and no longer have affliction. So they two different things. Oh, that was a good damage right here. I just wanted to go up and down as much as possible. And that is so good. That is so good. You know, every time I kill a smasher that easily, it's like it's always enjoyable. You know, I keep thinking that I won't find new ways to just delete a smasher yet. You know, it might not be the fastest kill I've ever seen. Double Browbeater kind of beat me on that one, but uh, it's definitely... Look at that health. Look at that health. Oh, my God. And I called it... Um, so somebody in chat called it the Rad uh, Bowler earlier as well. I should also plug the Jabberwocky video. Super fun video. It's not available right now, the Jabberwocky, but it does come back to the shop fairly often. So if you guys are interested in a super fun weapon to try, I highly recommend the Jabberwocky. And uh, if you enjoy any kind of launcher 160 videos like this one, that is... Definitely a fun one to, to jump off to. But yeah, I want to get this other smasher before another teammate gets close to me. I'm a ways from the boom base, but I want to see what I can do. Oh my god! It died so fast. Ah, Mateo might have helped me with that one. I really hope he didn't. Um, Mateo, did you have any damage on that mini boss or that smasher? I did not touch that thing. That thing just disappeared right when I went to go shoot it's at it. It's so good. This thing can one if you get some good uh good good crits, one or two hit a smasher. Like a 250. This thing is kind of insane sometimes. There's a war trying to help you. Oh wow. I wish I had something to shoot at though. I appreciate it out of Oh yeah, one last smasher. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> It's so good. You know, this weapon is not consistent enough to be like a top pick in my opinion, but I can understand what Archer, Magist, and Ace who are always talking my head off about. The three of them were always super defending the Dessa Blaster, and I can see what you guys mean. I can see what you mean.
if you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys for watching wait all my outros are coming together if you enjoyed the video feel free to like or subscribe that's what youtubers say right if you enjoyed watching you know i'll see you guys in the next one then um this outro is just like all the outros combined uh get some ice cream and then